Hey guys, today in this video we're going to show you how to install an expansion card to your Proflux 4 controller. The card we'll be installing today is the PLM PWC expansion card. This card in particular is made for those who want to control their Mitris LX7 wirelessly through their Proflux 4 controller. So for this install, you'll need three things. You'll need a Proflux controller, a Proflux expansion card, and a T10 Torx screwdriver. To get started, you'll first want to have your P4 controller disconnected and placed on a smooth, anti-static surface. Turn the controller over and remove the four screws using the T10 screwdriver. Carefully turn the controller right side up and remove the top cover. As you remove this cover, make sure you pull it up slowly because there are thin cables connecting the cover to the P4 itself. Once the cover is removed, you'll see the expansion card slots. Since we're installing the PLM PWC card, we're going to use the slot that runs parallel to the length of the P4 board. This particular slot is made for the PWC card. All of the other expansion cards should be installed on the other two slots. Take the expansion card out of the protective wrapping and insert the card into one of the expansion slots. Make sure the pins on the card line up correctly with the expansion slot. Once you've inserted the card, you can go ahead and put the top cover back on along with the screws. You can also reconnect all the other cables to your controller and power it back on. As the controller boots up, you'll see a new message on the display that tells you a new card was found. Seeing this message means the install was successful. You can now connect to your controller and begin using the card. For those that just installed a PWC card, make sure to set all your Mitra's LX fixtures to slave mode so that your Profilux can wirelessly communicate with your LED fixtures. You can do this by either connecting to each fixture through the app or by using the onboard touch keys on the display. If you're using the app, you'll find the slave option in the general settings page. If you're using the touch keys, select system, then wireless. The option to change the light to slave mode will be there. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to contact us on any one of our support channels. Until next time, folks, take care.